The days start early for Arnisha Barron. Sometimes I'll spray a little bit on it. I do this every day. Up before 4.30 a.m., readying her 18-wheeler. Today, she's hauling dairy to Chicago, picking up in Virginia's Shenandoah Valley. That's where I joined her. Wow, roomy in here. Oh, um, my refrigerator is right here. And a little microwave. Yep, and my TV. How many hours will you drive in a normal week? Um, 70 hours, normally. Okay. And how long will you be on the road before I, you come I back home? I normally stay out for three weeks. Okay. And I either go home for a few days, or I might go home for a week, it just depends. But the way that things have been going, um, I just, I, w I would just go for like a couple of days. Barron is a single mother of three. Trucking paid the bills. My ultimate goal was not to fail my kids. I'm driving, they call me, doing homework, or if I'm, I'm set aside park, we're doing homework, um, I'm fussing, doing the mom duties while in the truck. Barron is one of thousands of truckers who have experienced the pandemic highs and now the post-pandemic lows. Initially, pay for truckers surge with companies desperate to move their goods. After years working as a driver, Barron bought her own truck. Were you able to make a good living with that truck? Yeah, I was. I was really doing really well. I was able to pay a lot of stuff off. It was good. Soon she was bringing in a six-figure income, but her fortunes didn't last long. You got your own truck. Business was good. Truckers were in demand. Yes. Then what happened? Then, once it wasn't such a high demand anymore, um, it was back to the drawing board. Like, we had to pick loads off the board, and the rates were terrible. The number of drivers surged. Demand for goods fell as Americans emerged from lockdown, and shipping rates tumbled. Were you able to make those monthly payments? No. Okay. No, so I got behind. Sometimes you will go a week without a check, or two weeks without a check. With the bills and stuff. My son that's in college, like, um, I have to pay a portion of his rent mm -hmm. for his dorm. Yeah. I have to pay, that's, so now that's extra added on top of the overhead I have already. You mm -hmm. know, it's just really hard out here. Like, it's hard, but you have to make the best of it. She had to turn her truck back in, losing thousands of dollars. She's now back on the road, leasing a truck from Randy Tim's company. People got lulled into thinking that somehow this was the way of the world in trucking, and it, you know it's just not that way. 15,000 trucking companies, many of them solo drivers like Barron, have had to shut down since October. Maybe they'd been a company driver before. They went out by a truck trailer, get their own authority. We've seen them park that, get back, come back to companies, you know, just in an effort to make ends meet. For drivers, making ends meet also means contending with the costs of the road. When you're at home, you've got your fridge, you can easily go to Walmart, you can fill it up, you got your laundry machine, you got your showers. On the road, you don't have that stuff. No. Showers, like if you go in there to purchase a shower, it's like $13. Laundry is another six, parking 18. Then there's gas and vehicle maintenance. I try to save for rainy days, but I had a lot of rainy days. It's very stressful, but you know, you got to wear it with a smile and keep moving. You're not gonna give up on trucking? No. I'm gonna keep pushing. Like, I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna keep going because I know that it's gonna be a rainbow somewhere. <laughs> a rainbow she keeps chasing one mile at a time. Shannon Pettypiece, NBC News, Lindhurst, Virginia. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.